Hi guys, so I've just washed my hands after taking off my polish and today I also use this Mango Buff which is just kind of an exfoliating scrub that helps to keep your hands soft and moisturized and while my skin is still soft from being in the water I'm just going to take this manicure tool and gently push back my cuticles and you want to be careful in this area because this is basically the root of your nail you know this is where your nail grows from and if you press really hard and create a groove that will grow out um, as a groove in your nail and I know a lot of people do use like cuticle removers or even uh, cuticle scissors I don't use either of those I just gently push them back um, using this little manicure tool and you know you could also use an orange stick and if there's any dead skin I just kind of use the tool to scrape that away and just try to be really gentle um, and I'll go ahead and do that like I said while my skin is still kind of soft um, from being in the water after washing my hands um, another important tool uh, for nail maintenance is cuticle oil um, and this is also the California mango brand but really uh, the brand is less important than just you know using something and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that actually under all of my nails uh, as well as down at the cuticle so a lot of times people will forget to moisturize the underside but that really can get just as dry as the cuticle and then just go ahead and massage that into your skin and into the nail um, it's also a good idea to have a good moisturizer uh, hand and body cream um, one that I have is also from California Mango um, I like this brand mainly because of how it smells and it's also easily available at uh, Sally Beauty and just want to go ahead and get a good amount and massage it into your hands um, even if you get a lot so that it doesn't all absorb that's fine uh, just let it sit on your hands for a while um, you know let all the moisture uh, soak into your skin and then if you still have some excess after a few minutes you can go ahead and wash it off but that's my basic uh, nail routine every time I take off my polish um, so yeah thanks for watching and stay tuned for uh, some more things to be added to the tips and tricks list um, I'd like to show you guys how I do a basic manicure and I have a few other requests that I'd like to address so that'll be coming hopefully soon if I have time So I realized while I was editing the first part of this video that I forgot to talk about one product that I do use every day and that's the biotin supplement that I take. Um, this is a pretty large bottle, um, 120 capsules uh, and each one is 5000 mcg and basically it's just a supplement that will help your nails grow stronger. Uh, me personally it's helped a lot with my peeling nails and the only thing you really need to watch out for is some people uh, get really severe acne as a side effect but that's not something that I personally uh, noticed got any worse when I started taking it um, since I am doing this little additional video I thought I'd also address a couple things that came up in the comments for the nail polish removal video and those two things are letting your nails rest or breathe in between manicures and also the color of your natural nails um, personally I think that letting your nails rest in between manicures or them needing to breathe to stay healthy is kind of an urban legend uh, or an old wives tale because I mean I keep my nails polished all the time it's been over two years since they've been without polish longer than a couple hours you know longer than it takes for me to change my manicure and they're perfectly healthy 
uh, yes, they're a little yellow. Uh, that's going to happen if you wear a dark colored polish. And as long as they're healthy, I really could care less what color they are under the polish. Um, if you do want your nails to be whiter, if you want that option to be able to wear your natural nails without feeling like they're gross, uh, there are several different things you can try to help whiten your nails. Uh, there are products out there designed specifically to whiten your nails. Uh, one off the top of my head is Bubble White. And you can find several of those at like a Sally's or your local beauty supply store. There are also a lot of home remedies that you can try. Uh, things like lemon juice, salt water, um, toothpaste, even like uh, the effervescent denture tablets that people use. All those can help to get rid of staining and keep your natural nails white. But personally, uh, I just kind of decided it wasn't worth the time and the effort because I'm never going to wear them without polish. Um, polish helps protect your nails, especially like in my job I handle a lot of paper. It helps actually seal the moisture into your nails and helps keep them from breaking. So I think that about covers it. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, or if you have any constructive criticism, I'm also open to hear that. Um, anything that's purely mean, um, even though I do <laughs> actually find some of them to be absolutely hilarious, I usually have a zero tolerance of that. If you're just trying to be mean, it's just going to get deleted. So you might as well not waste your time. Um, oh, uh, if you're wondering what color my nails are, if you saw them when I held up the bottle, I'm wearing Nubar Reclaim, and there will be a video of this up shortly. It's a really pretty green hollow. And I think that's it. So, as always, thanks for watching.